What more could you want for such a patriotic song? Hey guys, it's Amanda. So ages ago, I remember someone telling me that the national anthem was taken from a British drinking song. I mean, you can't get more American than the anthem. It's played every chance we get, especially sporting events. So for someone to suggest it's a drinking song is amusing. <laughs> and I was really interested to find out more about it, if it's true, etc. But I kept forgetting to look it up. Luckily, I came across this video that will hopefully explain what I need to know. It's the U.S. anthem stolen from a British drinking song. And has anyone else heard about this? Let me know in the comments if you have. During the War of 1812, Francis Scott Key watches as the bombs burst in air at the Battle of Fort McHenry in Baltimore. It inspires him to write the lyrics for the Star Spangled Banner. But he still needs a tune. And where does he get one? He steals it from the country we're fighting. It's actually the theme song for an 18th century era private club in London called the Anacreontic Society. It was basically a gentleman's club. What was this society about? Drinking and women and music. That Amazing. was Amazing. <laughs> the Anacreontic that Society racist, got it. its name from the ancient Greek poet Anacreon, whose poems, like the society, celebrated women, wine, and song. The society consisted of a group of upperclassmen. Their primary focus was to promote a love of song. And so, to get the ball rolling, their theme song was sung at every meeting of the society. Well, I've got the tune sitting right here. Would you play that for me? Yeah, of course. So, would they have been, like, swaying and drinking? Of course. Words mentioned several times how they long to entwine, if you know what I mean. But the tune is wildly popular, and it spreads quickly as a drinking song in the late 1700s. Then, people just start to use the tune, and it's freely passed around. Uh, okay, so I mean, it wasn't just us How common then. of a practice was it for, you know, composers or lyricists to just borrow or, or, or steal, you know, the melodies of tunes? Well, it time. predates the copyright wars that we are very, very, very familiar with today. Back then, if you had a great tune, you used it. It was very common for a good tune to be used and you set your own music to it, and if nobody kills you, you're scot-free. The music for the Anacreontic song is equivalent to a pop song today. It starts showing up all over the place. Robert Treat Payne Jr., the son of one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence, uses it for a song he writes called Adams and Liberty. Incredibly, the song that would eventually become our national anthem first becomes the national anthem for a completely different country. Dun, 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 dun. Luxembourg. In 1839, Luxembourg gains its independence. They use the music before they decide to create their own original anthem. Francis Scott Key is also a fan of the tune. He had, in fact, even used it for a poem he had written nine years before the Star Spangled Banner. So it's no surprise that when he adds the lyrics, the words from his poem, Defense of Fort McHenry, they fit just perfectly. It seems to me pretty crazy that the Star Spangled Banner, our national anthem, comes from the British, the same people we got our independence from. Absolutely. So our national anthem is based in large part on what is in essence a drinking song? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> well, that was short and sweet, but I learned what I wanted to know. So our national anthem is indeed taken from a drinking song all about drinking women and music. What more could you want for such a patriotic song? I make joke. To be honest, I love it. <sighs> to think that a song that was sung at a gentleman's club is still used so many years later by an entire country. Well, it seems like actually loads of people used it. I mean, that is pretty impressive. However, I do think it's a bit rubbish that you could write like a right banger of a song back then and it's free game for anyone to use. So really, well, you do, I guess you do get credit, but everyone can just use it. How things have changed. Nowadays, everything is subject to copyright. But I would like to look up the lyrics to the old pub tune. I'm I bet I could find them online because I'm really curious now. But if you have anything to add, 
or would you just like to make a suggestion? Then put it in the comments below. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, smash that like button if that's what you're into, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.